Good morning, I'm Richard Clark, and today I would like to show you how to make the Hong Kong Flyer. I think you'll enjoy it. You can make it out of any color paper you want, orange, red, or even standard white. So, well, to get started, we'll show you first of all what you'll need to, to uh, work with. You'll need scissors for sure. Letter opener is handy and you'll see why in just a minute. But uh, it's, it's not necessary. So we'll start off, we'll start using this orange paper. And uh, we'll just get this other material out of our way here. First thing, you want to square uh, this, this uh, piece of paper. In other words, you want to square and make a square out of it. It's a little bit uh, slow getting started here. Like this, right straight across. And then you need to cut it right down here. So to do that, I like to fold it over A little bit tedious at times. Doesn't have to be totally precise, obviously. And then we'll take the paper cutter. So we take this off. This becomes the wing, this is the body and the tail, and you'll see how that works in just a minute. So you take this, first thing is to fold it over again, like so. Crease it, so now you've folded it both ways. What you do next is to take one of these like so and fold it like this. Actually there are several ways you can do this. This is one way. Bring these two pieces together and then crease it down the center. Okay? That's not perfect, but you get the idea. Then let's take one of these corners and bring it up to the top. And it's quite important that you have this as accurate as possible. Now you won't believe it, but we're now in the process of making the engine for the airplane. Okay, let's get this other one up here. This paper is just a little stiffer than the white, but it will still work just fine. Then you fold it a second time like so. And the other side. So, can you see how that is now? Now, we turn from the, the wing to the body and the tail. We'll first of all, crease this right down the middle. As close to the middle as you can get. Doesn't have to, again, it doesn't have to be precise. There we go. Now, here you have this folded piece of paper. 
and one end, doesn't matter which end you choose, you'll cut it just like so. Here we go. So basically, you want this to fit right up inside here into this corner. You get that? Okay. Now that we have that end done, now we take care of the other end. And this is the shape of the body as well as the tail, okay? Now my hand is a little bit shaky. It always is. But that doesn't matter. So we'll cut it. And this you can vary any way you want. Doesn't really matter at all. Down to about there. And then we'll create the tail. And you can make any shape tail you want. And you can make it as long as you want. Doesn't matter. We'll round this up here. And then it's important that you cut this back in here, like so. You'll see why in just a minute. There we go, we're through with those now, oh, almost. Then this opens up. You see what you have here? Okay. Now this will go up in here, clear up to the end. Try to fit it right up to the corner up there. Okay. Then you take your scissors and you go right down the middle here. So you're cutting part of the body and the front to help create the engines. Start right at the very tip there. Cut right straight down. And you only cut down as far as this, or a little bit before, or a little bit uh, beyond. Now, you take this whole stack of paper here, and you want to tuck it into this portion here. That will lodge it there. It's a little bit stiff, but it will work. There. Now you try to push that in. Here again, the stiffer the paper, the more difficult, but it still works fine. That's one side, then you take the other side, open this up, bring it around like so, take this material and poke it in there. Okay, you get it? We can, well, we can leave those there. Well, that's it. It's complete. Now, in order, to, and we're going to fly it now, but you want to check the tail. And the reason for that slit back there is so that you can take the end and fold it up. You can do one side more than the other to make it turn a certain direction. So you have quite good control. You don't want to turn it up too high because then it won't, it will go like this, see? So, uh, need to, yeah, and you'll, you'll see how, how this works as you, as you go. So, we're all ready to, to fly it. Now there are two ways you can throw this. One way 
is like this. But the way I prefer, and the way I'm going to do it, is like so, with your fingers holding it like that.